192.8 pounds. That is a total win. Starting a new job today. Uh, not sure what I can show you and what I can't. So I don't know what today's vlog is going to be because my hours today will be from 11 to uh, 9 p.m. Um, I haven't uploaded yesterday's vlog yet. Of course, you don't know that at the time that I'm recording this, but it's late because I was out late last night. But you'll know that when you see yesterday's vlog. So all this is moot. Anyway, I got up early enough to still walk the dogs. Today needs to be a bit of a faster walk and it seems like the dogs understand that. So that's good. Uh, last night I attended a Tom Ayers acting class. He performed the scene. Uh, it's the first time I ever actually went to an acting class. It was very interesting to see the actor's process and uh, what they go through to perfect their craft. Um, it was pretty enlightening. So, yeah, good times. My biggest takeaway was each actor has a, uh, a goal. What is their objective? What, what are they, what's their end game? And, uh, in, you know, their careers. And that got me thinking. I don't know exactly what my end game is. What, you know, to win an Emmy as an editor, to win an Oscar as a filmmaker, to make another movie, to tug the dogs along who are stopping. I don't know. So I think I'm going to be pondering that question for hopefully not a long time. Tika seems to be in a massive hurry today, too. Dog walk. 0.6 miles at a 24.56 pace. That's the fastest in a long time. Uh, I guess the dogs know that I'm in a hurry. Today is a way station day, and today I decided to profile Penelope, our African crested porcupine. She actually came to us from a trainer um, who retired her, and uh, African crested porcupines are actually from sub-Saharan Africa, and they're even from Italy. You can find them in Italy, and they are actually the largest porcupine. African crested porcupines use their quills to ward off predators, and they've actually been known to injure lions, leopards, hyenas, and of course humans. What they do is if they're approached by a predator or somebody that they are threatened by, they turn and they fling up their quills. If that doesn't work, they'll rattle their hollow quills and it makes this rattling noise that's, you know, pretty daunting. And then if that doesn't work, then they start stomping their feet. And if that doesn't work, then they back up into their predator and they, they've got these shorter little sharp quills that they jab into their pursuer, injuring them. So they're actually quite formidable. How do you think these guys mate? Very carefully. Joby. What's happening, Joby? Oh goodness. You want to love me, but you but you don't. Yeah. I know. Oh goodness. Oh goodness, Joby. We love the coyote. We love that coyote, we do. Oh, I don't trust you. I don't trust you. I don't, but I love you. Oh, you're nuts. You're just crazy. Oh, Joby, giving me your belly, but you're angry about it. You're angry about it. Oh, but you're gonna give me your belly. It is the middle of the day. I have left my new job because I have a appointment in uh, the by the Grove that I committed to a couple of weeks ago and I have to take. Um, so I'm on my way there now, I'm stuck in traffic. This sign on this wall up here is pretty cool. Graffiti no longer accepted here. Please get a day job. Thank you, Joe Connolly, the Graffiti Gorilla. I'm at Santa Monica Airport. Check that baby out. Nice, right? This is not my office, but it is my office or location for today. I'm copying files. I just did my very first core de force workout on BeachBodyOnDemand.com and it was awesome. It's mixed martial arts and throwing punches and that was really good. It's the first time I did a uh, core de force. I totally enjoyed that workout. Highly recommended. Oh my god. 
Do the dogs care that I'm here? Yes, they were at the window waiting for no you, doggies. and then they ran over and, and were so excited. <laughs> See, look how excited she is. Look how happy. Yeah. Well, yes, you made her happy. I made her happy. Hello, dear. Hello.